gorgeous people welcome back to my channel why did i sound like i'm trying to do a tv presentation oh my god that's cringe anyway welcome back to my channel guys um if you've watched my last video you know that this video is essentially my q a questions and answers i'm sure some of you guys have questions you've wanted to ask me for a while and this is the opportunity i get to answer them and I've dropped about 10 videos now and I thought it was, it made sense for me to properly introduce myself. Um, I'm sure most of you guys here are probably from Instagram. You've seen my pictures, but you don't know what my personality is like. You don't know what I like, my dislikes. So I just thought, you know, give them an avenue to ask you questions and respond. Yes. So let's get, I don't want to talk too much. Let's get right into it. So the first question I have here is you once had a SL clothing line. What happened to it? So with that, yes, I had a clothing line called SL clothing. Um, I stopped that because I mean, those of us in the ready to wear tailoring business, you know how stressful these tailors are. And I, I realized that I'm not a big fan of businesses where I have to depend on someone else to succeed and tailoring and when you have tailors it's just almost like these people think that I, let me rephrase it they wanted to ruin my life they wanted to destroy my reputation and I had enough and I literally got to the store one day after they destroyed someone's fabric and I told everybody to leave because I can't be having high BP daily constantly after you've told someone okay do this this way do this this way this client wants it this way then you come back and see something entirely different and also i have a family i can't spend my whole day there i wanted something i was able to be flexible that's why i, I started a business in the first place but i ended up having to be there two four seven because as soon as you leave, they will do something entirely different. So I, I, the headache was too much for me. I thought, nah, bruh, this is, this is it. And I told everybody, please leave my shop. <laughs> and that's how that ended. The next question is, what are your core values? Everybody who knows me knows I'm big on loyalty. I am, I am, I used, I'm loyal to your faults. I feel like that's one of my most attractive and most negative traits i am extremely loyal i bank on loyalty integrity okay. like i like people that stand on their word if you tell me you're going to do this you're going to do that and if you cannot do it communicate because it's also it's also okay to change your mind but when you don't communicate when you leave room for for me to think differently about you then i'm not a big fan of that i'm, I'm just big i'm big on loyalty First of all, I'm also big on honesty. I feel like there is really no reason to lie. There's really no reason to be slimy. I'm not a big fan of slimy people. Um, just be honest. Nobody's going to beat you. Especially yeah, like you're grown, you know? So as long as you're honest, that is highly attractive. That, those are like my core values, like honesty, integrity, dependable. Um, yeah those are my core values sorry i don't want to talk too much i'm just giving you guys because there are a lot of questions and i need to get through them <laughs> question did you ever practice practice work as a hr manager um so hr human resources that's what i studied in school my undergrad program was human resource management so yes i did work as, as a hr manager for two years about two years when i moved back from the uk but it was for my dad's company. So I don't know if people consider that working as nine to five. Um, yeah, I did that and he has like a chain of hotels. So I was the HR manager for his hotels for two years. But I'm not gonna lie, I found that, I found that too boring. I, I'm not a big fan of having a set routine every day. I wake up, go to work nine to five. I like, not necessarily creativity, but I like flexibility. I like to pick and choose what my work hours will be because I'm big on family. I'm big on spending time with my kids. I'm big on being able to attend my kids' recitals, um, school meetings, their plays, their competition. I'm big on 
like my family my kids like that's like my priority so my work kind of has to, schedule has to fall in line with my kids activities if that makes sense i don't know if it's that makes me weird or lazy i don't know but i think it's important for everybody to know what their priority is if your priority is like spending time with your family at the same time making money i believe i should be able to find a job or find work or businesses i can do that will enable me to be flexible and plan around them so that's why i stopped doing the proper office hr work and i own multiple businesses yeah next question is i love your kids names please can you explain their meaning i feel like if you follow me on instagram you already know the answer to this my first daughter's name is jawelle tree which essentially means go for god and my second daughter's name is irubinachi um which means my future lives with god Ebuka coined both names because he wanted them to bear precious stones because they're precious to him. <laughs> so he thought of Joe and thought, oh, what an evil word I can make with Joe. Same as Ruby. He literally wanted their, his kids, our kids, to be Joe and Ruby. And he created evil names to match those. So that's why, they, like, short forms will be Jawelichi. Um, Joa for Jawelichi and Ruby for Irubinachi. I hope that answered your question. And yes, any Jawelichi you see, it is from my own Jawelichi because Ibuka literally made that name up. What's your skincare routine? You are beautiful. Love from Ghana. Oh, shout out to my Ghana peeps here. I appreciate Um, I'll probably do a different video for my skincare routine. I don't have the best skin, but I'll just show you guys what <laughs> I use to maintain or help. Because I have acne prone skin, so I'll show you guys what I am, what my routine is like. How did you meet Ibuka? Oh my god, when I put up this QA um, tag, I knew that 80% of the questions were going to be about Ibuka, and I was already annoyed <laughs> because I'm like, it's not about him, it's about me. <laughs> anyway, how did I, meet? I met Ibuka on Twitter. He basically. I told his cousin to follow me and then he's leading to my DMs. That's a long story. When I am able to get him to do a proper sit-down Q&A with, with him, when I'm able to do convince him to do like a husband tag video, I'll probably go into details, like in-depth details as to how it all went down. But for now, it was Twitter. Twitter did the magic. <laughs> What's your profession? I own multiple businesses. I own like a treats baskets um store like a gift baskets something something yummy i own i supply beddings to hotels i do i do a bunch of things <laughs> let me just put it that way i do a bunch of things outside of like social media i'm a content creator youtuber <laughs> right now but i do quite a number of things that I don't like I don't post on social media like I supply beddings to hotels bed sheets towels um like I said my my dad owns like a few hotels so I already have my clientele with that so that's that's great does Emuka style you sometimes no I don't know if he styles me I mean but if I if if I dress up sometimes, I ask him, oh, how does this look? Does this bag go with this? Does this shoe go better? And he gives his input, but I don't think he's ever really like, oh, let me style you. Or I will tell him, come and style me, you know? I mean, yeah, I just ask him, oh, does this look nice? And he'll be like, oh, I feel this with this shoe better. And that's really it. What's your favorite travel destination? My favorite travel, I love London. I mean, it's random, but I just, I feel like, London is another, maybe because I schooled in the UK, but I just really enjoy whenever I travel to do, um, to London. It's like a safe space. I know my way around. Everything seems easy. But like one, one place I would really like to go back to that I have been to before, Singapore. That was my honeymoon destination. And I feel like I should have explored more. I just wanted to be in bed all <laughs> through my honeymoon. But it was such a beautiful, clean place. And I, I hope and I wish I would be able to go back very soon. Can you do makeup tutorials? 
I'll try, but I'm not, I don't know how to talk and do my makeup, but I'll try. I'm, I'll, I'm getting better at this thing, recording and talking. I mean, I tried to do that um, for this video, um, which is dropping after this. So I'm hopeful I can pop, do a proper makeup tutorial for those of you that want it. Will you do a meet and greet sometime in the year? Me, meet and greet? Who wants to meet me? God. You know these things, I find it so great. I'm socially awkward. I don't know how I'll navigate doing a meet and greet. I'll be too awkward for that. But hopefully this year is a year of growth. Anything can happen, so let's never say never. Maybe. Why did you marry Ibuka? Because he's a celebrity. <laughs> is that what you want me to say? <laughs> don't mind me. Um, Ibuka is kind. Ibuka is patient. Ibuka is... He's... He's... He's an amazing human being. Like he's he's supportive, he's he's caring, he's sensitive, he's he he likes he he genuinely just wants me to be happy. And he's like he can he will put himself he puts me before him he, he, most of the time. Um he's supportive, he he I don't know, he's just a well-rounded, kind, loving, patient man. And I can't even, I can't, there's no, there's no better than him, really. <laughs> How do you deal with being in the limelight? That is pretty easy, because Ebuka is a private person. He barely talks about us, even at interviews. It's me that is trying to even bring us out now with this YouTube adventure. But that's pretty easy, because I, we don't, Ebuka doesn't talk much about his family or his family life. We're not dramatic, we're not in your face. We just go about our thing and I feel like if you really want privacy, you can be you it's 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 very easy to achieve and Abuka's work is public, but as soon as he comes home, that ends there. And he's not even as he's not even out there. You don't see him everywhere. He doesn't I mean he goes out once in a while when he needs to, but otherwise he's mostly chilling here. This is his face. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Anambra State, Nini, in Anambra State. All, all my people from Nini here, please drop a comment, say yay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. What's your height? I am 5'7", I know it's hard to believe, and I typically, everybody thinks I'm short. Like, I feel like my pictures make me look like I'm short, but I'm actually not short. I'm 5'7". Ebuka is like a lot taller than I am. So naturally, I will look smaller because I'm beside him. But I'm 5'7". Five, five, and I get that a lot. So like, oh my god, you're tall in person. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I am tall in person. I am not short or small. Yeah. Why is your teeth so white? <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, I need a... I need like a toothpaste brand endorsement at this point because my teeth has been talked about quite a bit here so y'all one of these toothpaste brands come on come on board let, let. <laughs> i don't know it's just god bless me with, with beautiful white teeth that's that and they're not even as white as they used to be because i literally drink green tea daily morning and night so that kind of stains my teeth um but they're not even as white as they usually are. are you the first child and the only female? No, I am the third and I have four brothers and I'm the only girl in my family. So yeah, I am the only girl. Are you getting a divorce? Like, why would you even answer that? Like, I actually want to know the reason why you ask that. Like, my husband is literally here smiling at me. <laughs> no, I am not getting a divorce and I will not be getting a divorce. And that's a weird ass question. <laughs> are you wishing divorce on me? I reject you. Um, have you been to Ghana before? Yes, many, many years ago. And I need to, like, I haven't been to, like, this new and popping Ghana. Like, this new <laughs> Ghana craze. I haven't been recently. I went, I think, it should be more than 10 years ago I went to Ghana. Yeah, probably more than 10 years ago. I should go. Who is more emotional, you or Ibuka? I don't want to do any... A lot of questions with about Ibuka because I'm still begging him to do husband tag with me. <laughs> I'll say him and he'll say me. So I really don't know. And since this is my channel, 
I'll say him and I win. I mean, the woman's always right, so obviously, he's more emotional. <laughs> Looking at the job Ebuka does, especially with the social ones such as Big Brother, do you feel insecure? No, I'm not like an insecure person naturally, so um, his job is his job. It's just like any other job. If I were to be insecure about him doing Big Brother, if you were to be a doctor, I'll still be insecure. Um, I'm naturally not an insecure person. I'm confident in what's who I am and that's that really. I don't think his job makes me feel insecure. If I were to be insecure, regardless of his job, I'll be insecure, you know? You get my, get my vibe. Anyway, that's, that's how I feel anyway. Why did you start your YouTube channel? Hmm, this is a very tough question because I'm yet to answer that for myself. I feel like every year I pray for growth socially amongst other things and I feel like this is bringing me out of my shell. Like on a good day, I will never do this. I will never, I will never think to want strangers to have a glimpse into my life. And letting go of that fear, that barrier. Because I've literally been posting on YouTube. I've, I post once a year on YouTube for the last four years. But then I now get, I get scared and I chicken out. But it's just breaking a barrier, letting go of fear. I feel like that is what's, that's, that's why I decided to do it head, head on. And you know, starting something and finishing it and seeing it through because sometimes I'm, I'm quick to get in and get out. So me, by the grace of God, maintaining this is going to be a huge achievement for me. And what do I ultimately gain from it? Mm, new, new, I, I reach, I'm more rich to people who don't know me. Um, I don't know, like, you know, when you just want to start something and see how it goes, I'm on this. I, I don't know what I, I, just, I want to gain from this, but I'm just doing it. And for now, I'm enjoying the process. So hopefully, I'll figure that out. I feel like I'm trying to figure out things this year, figure out more about myself this year. And I feel like YouTube might help me do that. And if it doesn't, that's fine. If I back, if I stop after six months, then it's one of those things I have tried and maybe I did not like or maybe I did not enjoy as much and I stopped, you know. What's your favorite meal? My favorite meal, like I have different meals I really, really, really like, but I really, really like sushi on the international side. <laughs> because I know some people are like, ah, sorry now, you're yeah, yeah, forming fancy babe. But I really, really like sushi. I love Japanese food. For the Nigerians, I love abacha abacha and snail or oha soup ah if you bring abacha and snail or oha soup not spicy i don't eat pepper please i feel like people that eat pepper i don't know if i feel like i need to do a separate video for this pepper in people that love pepper like you cook with so much pepper that you are sweating you have a cold every you're not even tasting the food because you spend the time half the time drinking water you take one bite you drink water the burst of flavors, the flavor building process is lost in the pepper. Like what's the essence? How are you going to taste all, all the effort you put into the food when you can't even taste it because it's all covered with the pepper you've poured on that food? Me, I don't understand this. I don't understand people that like they literally drink pepper. I'm just like, what's what's the joy? What's the joy in this food now? I understand people that maybe have sensitive with like they're sensitive to I wouldn't call it bland food because if you're cooking with seasoning, if you if you f build your flavors, it's not bland. But like a little kick, even me sometimes, like if I'm eating like a hot soup, I need a little bit of kick. But it's not the one that I'm turning red, my I'm sweating, kata is coming from my nose, and I'm just like, ah ah, is that is that enjoying? That's suffering. That's just plain suffering, and a waste of my time, because I've not enjoyed the food. So yeah. I like sushi and really anything Japanese, really. I'm a big fan of Japanese food and I love oha soup. Ofako. Ofako is different from banga. Ofako, we eat it with rice, but it's almost made the same way. Then abacha and snail. Then you've got me. Yes. <laughs> is your skin amazing skin just genetics? My amazing skin. Ah, you don't see all this possible. I have like. 
ac proper acne prone skin is like a battle to get it to what it's like now but like i said i will probably do like um a different video to show you guys my skincare routine so watch out for that i just want to say you've been amazing on youtube your consistency has been awesome thank you it's actually more difficult than it looks like the prep like it's actually and i when i'm vlogging sometimes i forget i forget oh if i go i'm like am i supposed to record these people like i can't i can't bring out my phone to be recording people that haven't signed up for this that's super cringe you know and privacy i'm big on people's privacy you know so um i can't obviously vlog in someone's house certain parties because privacy are your babies more of more of mommy's girls or daddy's girls such lovely kids you have thank you very much my kids are the biggest blessing in my life blessed my life and i'm so proud they are super kind they are kind intentional lovely well-behaved kids and i'm like i'm i just pray that they never change you know because my kids are like good good amazing kids and i'm super proud of them um so are they more mommies i think they are more they are closer to me but Ibuka has the ability to bring out information from them like when they come back from school and i ask them i ah, just you know what happened in school yada 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 like, oh, it was fine they just give me more answers but as soon as they go and meet their dad, their daddy will now come and give me the proper load down of what happened in class, who said what, what happened. And I'm just like, ah, but I was asking him the same question. I feel like he has, obviously, it's his job. He just has the natural ability to bring out information from people, even kids. So it's fine. Whatever I want him to, I want to get an inf information from them. I just said, babe, please, I need to know about this. And he knows how to ask them that they will actually spill like literally spill everything so i feel like they're more mommy's girls but Ibuka has the natural ability to get information from them he's they are free they are freer giving him gist do you want baby number three hmm god's plan is the best <laughs> spoken like a true nigerian <laughs> um maybe i'm not opposed to it i mean whatever if it happens it happens are you happy i feel like that's a loaded question are you happy i mean i have my happy moments i have moments when i'm unhappy but my family is blessed i have amazing kids i have an amazing husband so with my family nothing else i mean i have my low moments but because of my family my family outweighs any other negatives that happen that would that can happen in my life. As long as I have them, any other thing that's every every other thing is a phase that can pass, you know. And for now, as of today, I am recording this video. Yes, I am happy. I am thankful, and I hope I am. Like happiness is something that comes to me. Joy, success. I claim it this year see I dance mid talking I've been controlling myself not to move my body so you know all those all these girls that they can dance and but they dance a lot that's me and the funny thing is that I used to know how to dance and I know if my husband watches this he'll start rolling his eyes I used to be a mad stepper like they used to call me let me not say the name before you guys laugh at me or make fun of me but I used to be like a master part. and i'm an amazing dancer when i'm sitting down like if i'm sitting down and i'm dancing you'll be like ah this girl's going to be mad when she stands up ah, she'll give us let go okay but as soon as i stand i don't know it's not just coordinating anymore i don't know i don't know if it's age or having kids i don't know i don't know <laughs> describe your character and personality traits hmm. my character i don't I'm, I'm i feel like i'm i'm pretty reserves till i'm comfortable around you and i'm not a big fan of sneaky people so i'm very picky with who i open up to but i think i'm a cheerful person i mean i like to show off my teeth so I'm, i laugh quite a bit um i like gist so if there's gist i'm going to be like eh i'll give you soundtrack to the gist <laughs> you know and yeah 
But my husband says I have quick temp. I have a quick temper. But I, I don't agree. With you. He says it's not a hot temper, a quick temper. Like I get, I go, I can go from zero to hundred and come back to zero in one second. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. Are you open to collaborating with other YouTubers? Yes, I am. I've been in talks with Ifio Koye, my dear girl. Um, she's a lovely, lovely girl I've become quite fond of. So I'm hoping we can do something together soon. Ifi has been so lovely and supportive. So I'm open to, I, I'm hoping to do a video with her soon or something, some sort of collaboration. And if that's, goes well I'm, I'm just i'm open actually if anybody wants to work with me you can reach out you never know i mean i'm also trying to build i'm not, um build my my following here so why not of course who i be <laughs> out of curiosity is something labeled coming back no it's not coming back because at least this year because i'm tired of tailors i don't have their strength are you due for youtube monet monetization are you currently in the process process or not first i'm actually monetized now that's a great thing right what is your biggest ache huh gosh if you know me people that don't keep the time like i have made the conscious effort this year if you're more than 10 minutes late i'm out i am not going to wait for you because it shows you don't have respect for me you don't also have respect for your for, for yourself because if you respect who you're meeting up with you will not keep them waiting except a trailer fell in front of your car you cannot there's no excuse you want to give me nothing are you open to dinner dates hangouts with your followers whom you find intrigue intriguing of course i mean i feel like i will some sometime soon maybe when i'm six months here i will host like some of my subscribers people that have actually been commenting on my on my videos i'll probably take them out to dinner to celebrate six months on youtube i think that's actually a nice idea thank you for that i admire you so much thank you so much thank you thank you thank you can we see more of jewel in your youtube videos i'll try can you drive of course i can drive don't i drive in a lot of my videos except you you're not watching how did you handle watching ibuka in big brother house Obviously, we're not dating. That was like many years ago. Do you know what Ebuka is now? <laughs> anyway, um, I actually was a big fan of Ebuka when he was on the show. I, I loved Gideon. Gideon was my fave, as they call it <laughs> these days. Yeah, Gideon was my fave back then. <laughs> I think that's all I can take for now. I feel like I will have to do another video because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so I will end it here. You can send more questions and I will answer in another video. And I hope this was somewhat entertaining and I wasn't, I didn't bore you guys off. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you for the questions. And I please, please, please share my video, subscribe, like, and all those things that YouTubers ask you guys to do. And I really, really appreciate all the love. I see it, the support. Um, I'm thankful and I just hope this community will continue to grow. I'm doing my best to build this and with you guys I'll obviously be coming back you know. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!